So hello and welcome you all to Sale to MDS Dental Academy. So I am Dr. Malathi, the Pediatric Dentist and Assistant Professor in College of Dental Sciences. So as parents, we are here with the Part 9 of NEED MDS 2020 paper discussion along with important concepts and images. So we are going to see few important questions. So let's see fun 61 questions. So what is opposthetonus? Where it is seen? It is seen in tetanus. Tetanus is also known as lockjaw. The other feature of tetanus are intact sensorium, headache, difficult swallowing, sore throat, irritability, tonic spasm, spasm of facial muscles, jaw stiffness, fever, restlessness, chills, exaggerated reflexes, and profuse sweating. So, how could you prevent this tetanus with the help of childhood immunization? Then, as we a nine-year-old girl is there with the two mm midline diastomy thick fibrous frenum. So what treatment you should do? You should do nothing. You have to wait till eruption of permanent canines. Then what is dicor ceramic? It is example of castable ceramic. Let's see if important ceramic and their other name like lucite reinforced. It is IPS impress. Lithium disilicate. It is a Emax. Pure alumina. It is a Procera all serum. Pure zirconia. That's a lava glass infiltrated it's a in serum alumina and leucite feldspar base it is white blocks mark 2 then as for what is the relationship of goiter and high altitude which type of relation this two factor indicate it indicate indirect relationship now mesotheliumia is associated with exposure to what it is associated with exposure to asbestosis then out of sample of 100 students, 10 are to be selected randomly. So what is the best method of sampling to ensure uniformity? It is systemic random sampling. Now as friends, we are going to talk about periodontal therapy phases. So when the phase 4 begins, it begins immediately after the review of phase 1. Let's see in detail the periodontal therapy planning. So in preliminary phase, we have treatment of emergencies and extraction of hopeless teeth. Phase 1 is a non-surgical phase. So you can see maintenance phase begins immediately after phase 1 phase. So in phase 1, we are going to go for the plaque control, patient education, diet control, excavation of caries, restoration, antimicrobial therapy, occlusal therapy, correction of restorative and prosthetic irritation factors, minor orthodontic movement and provisional splinting and processes phase 2 is surgical therapy okay as so remember placement of implant come under phase 2 of periodontal treatment phase 3 is a restorative phase in which we go for final restoration fixed and removal prosthodontic appliances evolution of response to restorative procedure and phase 4 therapy is a maintenance phase we go for checking pocket depth inflammation plaque caries and calculus then where you can see chalking of phenomena it is seen with sodium fluoride in leukemic gingivitis bleeding occur because of what bleeding occur because of thrombocytopenia then experience we are going to see first the different kind of regressive alterations of teeth so this is attrition this is abrasion this one is erosion and this is abfraction don't get confused between the abrasion and abfraction you can see in this schematic diagram also so what is abrasion what is abfraction and what is erosion so there is a vest shaped defect in cervical region of tooth due to occlusal stress lead to micro fracture of enamel so what is the defect known as it is abfraction then a case report experience a 45 year old female complains of recurrent episode of unilateral severe headache which exaggerated with head movement exposed to bright light and loud sound so what it is it is migraine now a 55 year old farmer come with a sign and symptom of pesticide poisoning he presents with bradycardia sweating hyperthermia altered consciousness and pinpoint pupils so how will you manage him you will manage by giving atropine injection so what atropine will do? It antagonizes acetylcholine at the muscarinic receptor and it is administered prior to paradoxime chloride. Remember, aspirin, there is a difference for adult and pediatric doses. 
adult we give initially 1 mg IV then we will give 2 to 4 mg per dose IV every 15 minutes till we get drying of pulmonary secretion and there are few study which says that 2 mg per kg per hour will help to control secretion. Pediatric is very minimal 0.015 mg per kg IV then it is repeated every 15 minutes to get the effect of pulmonary secretion drying. Now let's see another question. Bar broch is usually taken to the apex of tooth for complete extirpation of pulp during root canal therapy. This is done because collagenous fibers are more at apex. Then a 5 year old child is there. He is behaving badly in the dental clinic and is not cooperating. The response the caregiver takes of his favorite toy and insists the toy will be returned only after the child allows to do the dental procedure. So which type of behavior management it is? It is a type of omission. Then a chronic alcoholic patient is there present with dizziness, memory loss, confabulation, altered sensorium. What will you inject first? We will inject thymine. Now analysis of skull shape and size, supraorbital reach, extension of zygomatic arch beyond external meters measurement, and angle of mandible. All this factor, all this analysis helps in what? It helps in sex determination. Then aspirin, a 74-year-old obese diabetic female with a hypertension is under medication for diabetes. She has a moon face and other features suggestive of Cushing syndrome, so which is the most common cause of such a condition. It is heterogenic exposure of glucocorticoids. Now all are supplemental anesthetic techniques in endodontics except, so remember, intraligament, intraosseous and intrapurple are supplemental anesthetic techniques except inferior alveola. Not true regarding mesh graft. Remember mesh graft is a good characteristic like acceptable appearance after healing. It can be stretched up to nine times but usually restricted to three times and they also reduce the dead space below graft. So the wrong statement is they increase the time for healing, the size of blood clot and increases pain. Now what is the technique for altering child behavior so as to get the desired behavior by the dentist and his team in a clinic? It is known as behavior shaping. Now when taking bite in a suture, what should be the ratio of distance from the edge of the wound and the point of insertion of the needle into tissue to the depth of insertion into the tissue? So it is 1 is to 1. So what is 1 is to 1 experience here? It is point of insertion of needle into tissue to the depth of insertion. Now there is one Jenkins rule. Here you don't get confused between one more ratio that is 4 is to 1. It is suture length to wound length. Finally, experience other important Jenkins rule are length of incision increases to variable length in post operative period. If length of suture is not able to accommodate this stretch it will cut through the fascia. The suture could be placed at 1 cm away from the facial edges and 1 cm away from each other to maintain Jenkins rule. Then a diabetic patient is there who is obese, developed daytime somnolence with anemia and raised ICP that is intracranial pressure. So what is the probable cause? It is obstructive sleep apnea. So which is the smallest antigenic particle? It is epitope. Let's see a few important side effects of sleep apnea. Remember aspirin, it can cause brain fog, stroke, low blood oxygen level, obesity, impotence, anxiety, depression, erythema, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure and type 2 diabetes. Then a 6 year old child is very anxious and brought to the clinic. He does not obey command, shouts and becomes hysterical when treatment is attempted. So what kind of Frankel behavior rating scale it is? It is type 1. Now, young man is there, presents his hematuria, altered consciousness, seizures, decreased renal function and increased serum creatinine. He gave a history of strenuous exercise the previous day. So, what is the diagnosis? It is rhabdomyolysis. Let's see important point of rhabdomyolysis. Here, rhabdomyolysis is the muscle tissue breakdown with release of intracellular content into circulation. That is myoglobin. We have muscle pain and weakness due to trauma, elevated CK levels and the myoglobin may occlude the structure of the kidney and break down into toxic component leading to acute tubular necrosis or acute renal failure and at the same time we have a dark reddish brown urine due to myoglobinuria so these are a few important points for your rhabdomyolysis 
Then the patient is there with severe pain in the left skirt of them, report to hospital. The doctor performed preliminary examination of the patient on auscultation in the fifth intercostal space, feeble rhythmic pulsation can be felt. So what it indicates? It indicates of left ventricle. Now, where you can see raised plasma calcitonin in case of medullary carcinoma of thyroid. So, friend, that was all for today, part 9. Part 10 and 11, we are going to see the important image-based question from your 2020 paper. In 2020, around 50 to 55 image-based question they have asked. So, we are going to deal with them in detail because it can be in your 2021 also. So, if anyone require in the need 2020, 2019 papers and last minute user note, they can contact me. And remember, new experience, we are going to start from 20 new batch. So, for demo, you can contact me. Till then, experience, take care, work hard, any doubt, you can contact me.